How's it going everyone? You got Zero here. I'm going to be going over tutorial settings today. We're going to go over um, three things. We're going to get to OBS settings number one. Uh, we're going to get to chat overlays, how to get your chat on your stream to make sure um, it's working correctly and everybody can view the chat and so can you. You can view it in game. The last thing, notifications for your subscribers and whatnot. So let's start with um, OBS settings first. So you see here we got the general tab. Uh, you gotta go to the stream number one. Make sure your service is set on YouTube Gaming unless you're planning on streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. And if you are planning on doing both at the same time, I'll be going over that shortly. Just stick around. Generally, you want to keep it to YouTube only. And let's go over our output settings. Now, majority of you are going to see the simple output by default, but you want to change it to advanced. Let's get to advanced. Now, your encoder, it's very important. Default encoder is the X264, which means it's uh, you're streaming through your CPU. We want to change that. The, um, the main reason you guys get lag or you guys see low quality is because you're trying to stream through your CPU, which is a big no-no. You want to make sure you're streaming through your NVIDIA graphics card. Yes, this is primarily for NVIDIA uh, GPUs like the GTX series. So change it to NVENC, NVENC, or whatever you guys want to call it, NVENC. Shoot, uh, make sure it's on that. This is going to force your OBS to stream using your GPU which is gonna look so much more fluent it's gonna look perfect it's gonna look right do not check rescale output we will be outputting and rescaling we're gonna do it through the video tab so make sure you guys do not check rescale outputting leave it unchecked and let's move on bitrate bitrate is very important you guys your bitrate has to be high this has to do a lot with your internet if you have a good internet provider and you have fast upload speeds keep your bitrate um, over 6,000 uh, 6,000 is my uh, comfort zone I personally like it keep in mind the higher you have your bitrate the more straining it's gonna be for your viewer so that means they must have good internet to get a good quality stream from you I think 6000 is perfect YouTube unlike twitch allows you to go much higher than the standard 2500 or 3500 so you guys uh, feel good to put 6000 if you guys want to push it go for 8000 I know a lot of streamers use 8000 as far as your audio tab goes again do not strain the viewer by putting it at 48 keep it at 44 and you're not gonna see any type of a negative impact on your stream now video settings is very important we're gonna use this portion of OBS to outscale properly and correctly keep your base resolution the same resolution you have set on for your monitor I have it on 1440 so we're keeping it at 1440 and we're gonna outscale it to 720 and our GPU isn't gonna have to do too much so keep it at 720 that's the way I like to do it keep your downscale filter to 32 samples sharpened scaling this is gonna give you that fluent stream experience as far as your FPS goes I recommend 60 if you have a GTX 970 or higher now if you have the 960 or lower, go with the 30 FPS, you're still going to be fine, but obviously you're not going to get that richer, that better quality uh, streams you guys are used to seeing. So other than that, I think our OBS is pretty much good to go. Uh, don't touch anything else, you guys. If you guys mess with other settings, you might screw something up. So just leave it, click OK, and let's move on to the next step. Now we're going to go on to the chat overlay very important I see a lot of new streamers asking me how I get the chat to show up for uh, YouTube gaming now unlike twitch YouTube gaming is fairly new so there isn't too many third-party applications and sources we could use this is the one I find that works best for me it's called restream.io you're gonna log in you're gonna connect your YouTube account to the website ignore this section unless you guys want to stream to both YouTube and twitch at the same time but if you, you're not attending to do so, then you could just ignore this part and just go to the chat section and download the chat application. That's all you guys need to do. I already have my chat downloaded, so I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. And uh, this is gonna allow everybody to get the chat in game, not only uh, for the viewer to watch, but also in your game while you're playing, you're gonna be able to see the chat while nobody else can. So we're gonna go to the settings portion. Now mine is transparent, so you guys might not be able to see it right there. 
but uh, just click on that button and um, it's going to open up the settings section. We're going to connect your YouTube account. If you are planning on doing both YouTube and Twitch, feel free to connect your Twitch account. Once it's connected, we can move on. Ignore filters unless you want to put uh, any curse words. Obviously, you can filter those out. The appearance section. This is the setting that you're, you're gonna see in your game, not the viewer. So feel free to mess with the transparency settings. You can make it more transparent by putting the uh, window percentage up, or you can make it less transparent. I personally like to keep it at 0% because once my game is up and running, I don't wanna see any background colors. It'll mess with your gameplay. So uh, keep it at uh, zero percentage on the transparency and you're fine. Font size, feel free to copy mine. Leave it at 25, nickname 13, timestamp 13. You could also uh, mess around with it. Find something that works for you, um, specifically for you. The settings are pretty simple, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with this. So appearance, the left tab appearance this is your game what you see while you're in game the viewers will never see this so feel free to mess with it ignore all the other settings and we're just gonna go to the embedded in chat stream now this is what your viewers are gonna be able to see you guys so you want to mess with it um, find something that works for you I personally go with the compact option but um, you guys don't need to go with the compact option. You guys could already see in my OBS. The more I play with it, OBS is going to show you guys what the viewer is going to see. Keep the message section from the bottom up. I personally like it that way. You can feel free to copy the same settings I have. In your message background, chat background, transparency, I personally leave it at zero. Unless you guys have a specific type of overlay where you want the chat uh, background to show, then you guys can mess with it. From scaling, keep it at 154, 150%. That's usually good. It's easy on the eyes. You don't want it to be too big, the chat, or you don't want it to be too small. So find that comfort zone and um, you guys should be fine. Now that we got through this, uh, this is pretty much all you need to do for your chat settings. You go to Restream, you download the chat application, you put it into your OBS. The last step is to copy the code. So you guys see the URL for browser plugin, copy the code. Now once we copy the code, we're going to go back into our OBS settings. We're going to open up a new source. You want to name it. I don't know. I, I put my notification, but you could put it chat whatever you feel comfortable with and it's going to be a new browser plugin you guys so we're going to put a browser plugin you're going to copy and paste that url and you should see the restream chat pop up in your obs and that's what the viewers are going to be able to see while you're gaming so now we have the chat set up for us we have the chat set up for the viewers this is going to make you guys capable of interacting with your chat it's very important to interact with your viewers one thing I noticed uh, while I'm viewing a streamer is I'll say hi and the guy will take like a minute to respond back or he just simply won't respond back. That's going to turn off a viewer. So by the time you end up responding to them, they might actually leave your stream and go to someone that's more interactive. Why does this happen is because um, a lot of new streamers have their uh, settings set up for a longer latency so that means you get a very long delay it takes about 30 seconds to 45 seconds of a delay for you to interact with your chat so we're going to change this it's very important we mess with these settings right here you're going to open up your youtube page we're going to go to creator studios and we're going to go to our live streaming page from live streaming we're going to go to our advanced settings so make sure you uh, log in Get, get to your advanced settings and we're gonna change one little option that makes a huge difference. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we get to stream optimizations. Make sure you guys change it from less viewer buffering, which is default mode, into optimize for interaction. By doing this, you guys um, are gonna change your delay time from 30 seconds to 45 seconds, all the way down to anywhere from five to 10 seconds. So you'll be able to interact with your viewers more consistently. Now we're gonna move on to the last step, you guys. This is how to get your YouTube notifications. So once you get a new sub, you could hear the sound and you could get a big pop-up that shows that you got a, a new subscriber. It's a very cool feature to add and I'm glad that we have a way of doing it. So we're gonna go to a website called Streamlabs. It was actually meant for Twitch, but uh, just recently they added a YouTube section to it, which is great, which is so good. You're gonna log into Streamlabs, uh, just connect it to your YouTube account, very easy. 
Uh, once connected, you're gonna see a bunch of options on the left side. Now we're gonna go to our alert box. Our alert box is gonna be all of the settings we need for YouTube. It's OBS friendly. It shouldn't take you guys too much time to find the right settings that you guys like. Get a nice picture that you guys want, um, or you guys could use the standard one. I, I'm using the Mario sound when I get a donation. You guys can set it up to whatever you want whatever works for you or whatever is in the same theme as your stream keep the theme the same and similar all right so let's move on to the last step you guys how to get the notifications into your obs once you're done creating the settings you're going to scroll all the way up and we're going to get the url similar to restream chat we're going to copy the url we're going to go back to our obs and we're going to open up a new browser source copy and paste the url code into our browser source the url now we have a little box icon showing us where the notification is going to pop up we can mess with it we can put it wherever we like we can make it bigger we can make it smaller so it's up to you guys how you guys want to work this and if you guys want to test it all you have to do is test subscriber alert and you'll get a simple notification on your obs so you can see exactly what the viewer is going to see when um, they're watching your live stream all right, you guys, I honestly think that's it. I know when I first started streaming, I had no idea what to do. I looked all over the internet. I took bits and pieces of every little video I could find and I finally put together something that worked for me. I really hope this helps some of you guys out. And if you guys have any questions about the stream setup or OBS, feel free to reach out to me. You guys can always email me if you need any type of help. If you guys need advice or if you guys want to give me advice, uh, just shoot me an email. Email me um, at zero, that's Z-I-R-R-O, at omgaminglive.com. I love getting emails from you guys and I'll reply to you guys as soon as I can. All right, everybody, I can't wait to see your streams now. That's it for our video. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, again, send me an email or leave a comment underneath. If this helped you out, also send an email or leave a comment underneath. Everybody have a great day. I'll watch you guys streaming soon, I hope. Zero's out.